There's a 100% chance you'll be hearing or reading a lot about today's most important person you don't know. David Koch is a 70-year-old billionaire who dabbles, uh, dabbles, that's an understatement, in politics. As in, he was the Libertarian Party's vice presidential candidate in 1980. These days, his dabbling comes in the form of big money political contributions. Contributions that have none other than the president of the United States crying foul. Right now, all around this country, uh, there are groups with harmless sounding names like Americans for Prosperity, who are running millions of dollars of ads against Democratic candidates. Koch Industries, as in David Koch, is behind Americans for Prosperity. The latest issue of The New Yorker says David and his brother Charles are, quote, among the richest men in America and are waging a war against the Obama administration. The article lists their priorities as drastically lower taxes, minimal social services, and much less oversight of industry. And thanks to the Supreme Court, they can spend, oh, about as much money as they want. Let's talk that over. With me right here in studio, veteran Republican strategist Jim Dyke of Jim Dyke & Associates, Jennifer Palmieri, a former Clinton White House hand from the Center of American Progress now, and our national political correspondent Jessica Yellen is still awaiting the primary there in Scottsdale, Arizona. Jim Dyke, a lot of money going in to help conservative causes. The President of the United States crying foul. What is the goal of the Koch brothers? Well, I don't know what their goal is, but, but Republicans are playing sort of a game of catch-up with Democrats since 2000. Four, actually, the Democrats wisely created an outside structure to support Democratic candidates and spent hundreds of millions of dollars. Well, and you're I think, talking about me. I am. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that I am indeed. Yeah. And I think what you're seeing is Republicans play, play right. catch up. Fair statement. You are at the Center for American Progress, run right. by former Clinton White House Chief of Staff John Podesta, an ally of this White House. It does. It is an outside Democratic organization trying to help influence both policy battles but also political campaigns sometimes well it's mostly it's you know we're a think tank that's mostly influencing policy battles but i think that what's important about this is to have disclosure i mean and this story with the new yorker was helpful because it did sort of shine a light on just how much of an impact this one particular family has and and to show people that you know don't don't think that americans for prosperity is necessarily um is necessarily a nonpartisan a nonpartisan group but i think that the more sort of disclosure that we can have on this and people understand what their uh, what their bias really is, and maybe who they're really representing, is important to do. But it's you know it is the wild west right now after the Citizens United uh, decision. But as you see these ads from group, now this isn't the only group, but we get all these ads that come into us, and so, you know if it's from candidate X or Y, you know who they are. But sometimes you do see when the group first appears, you know Americans for good government, Americans for great oxygen, and you have to figure out who are they. <laughs> right. And it's a lot of, it takes research, it's our job. Uh, and candidates on both sides will press for more transparency on this stuff. The one thing I find interesting is that after Citizen United passed, there was a lot of hue and cry about every corporation rushing in to advertise. And we saw the Target Corporation get in a lot of trouble with some of their shoppers and shareholders when they backed a candidate. And uh, it seems to have been an object lesson for a lot of other corporations. So we might see a lot of private individuals like the Cokes continue to use this to give money. Still unclear how much big corporate money is going to get involved because of the potential consumer bite back. Excellent point there.